Okay, so locking up my hair has been one of the best decisions I have ever made for myself. Let me tell you my story. Maybe we are sisters from different mothers or brother from another mother. You will never know until you hear me out. Okay, so let's get started. Even when I'm dead broke, I always look for a way to make my hair neat. No matter what, but unfortunately, the type of hair I have, fussy type of hair, is so quasi. Having my hair done from a stylist wasn't funny at all. Most of the time, I get to see the way they look at my hair, I get to see the way they get tired making my hair. I've even had several of them signing on top of my hair, mooning as if they were in pain or they were the one carrying the hair. It is so so embarrassing most time and frustrating i ended up perming my hair i ended up buying relaxer to retouch to perm my hair to make it straight most of the time bone straight but along the way i realized that the type of relaxer that i buy will have to be super if it's going to be tcb it will be super if it's going to be venous it's going to be super if it's going to be dark and lovely, it's going to be super. Really. Even at that, I will still have to wait more than the recommended time on the instruction before this hair gets relaxed. I ended up damaging my hair because I needed to wait longer and I could not really estimate the time to wait. Maybe as I'm washing the hair, you'll see a lot of hair falling off and I'll end up with bows and patches. I experienced hair loss on several occasions which will now make me to undergo another hair regimen that will restore the hair back. And this actually went on for a long time. What about the time I bought fake relaxer? I bought a whole jar of relaxer that was filled with cream without scent or aroma, nothing, just plain white custard like cream. So that didn't solve the problem. I do love braid style. I love box braid. I love tiny braid. I love feathers installing the carrying braid style for more than three weeks is actually difficult for me. Even when I'm willing to go longer, the hair would have started getting rough. My hair texture is not that accommodating, so it would have become rough at the roots and along the braid. The sweat, I sweat a lot. Water practically drip from my hair down to my body like before you know it, the hair is smelly and you know that could be quite irritating so I will have to lose the hair. Have you ever seen someone losing a braid of 2 to 3 months or even up to 4 months? It's an eyesore. If you go to a salon, you see something like that. I get it probably is exhausting spending money, losing your hair, going to visiting a salon. Your hair not getting washed for that long. I'm being frugal, trying to reuse my attachment. It will only depend on the type of style that I have used it to carry initially. If it were tiny brain, of course you I would not be able to reuse it. But if it were big box braid then i'll be able to reuse it for something similar talking about braid installation guys it is very painful for the first few days of installation up to like a week it is very painful to carry it's very painful to sleep it's very painful to to smile you just go around trying to talk the strand of the head like like the pain is excruciating most of the time. I didn't. It's not something I want to to endure just to look good, really. When you are willing to try other style aside from braid, do you know how much it costs to buy weaver now? Especially now that you have different types out there. You have human hair and all that. You know, in weaver from or like before when you all you have is just calls a Chinese weaver. Now there are so many and they are so expensive. The least amount of money that you can spend on your hair and that will also depend on the quality you are buying is like 5,000 Naira. Spending so much money on hair is not ideal except of course if you can afford it. Like recently I heard a lady right here on YouTube talking about spending 15,000 Naira to retouch her hair. 
Really? That's a lot. We are financially free, of course. Maybe you will not feel. There was also a time I cut my hair, you know, just frustrated and all that. So I cut my hair. Look, got carried it for a long time, but I didn't look. I didn't like my look. I ended up, you know, styling it and it's a baker style. This is something that I had always done throughout my time in school, university. I was carrying an Ita Baker style, which I was styling by myself with coil tongue that I bought before I left my home. So I tried to do that again but then it wasn't easy it wasn't easy like when i was single without children without responsibility or compared to now i have three kids I have chores to do take care of the children take care of myself take care of the home and other things taking the children to school bringing them back home helping them with their homework the clustering arranging the uh, it's much, oh, really. <laughs> really, it's much. It's not, it's, not some, it's not easy, actually. One of the reasons why I'm also practicing minimalism is something that is helping me a lot right now. Then I switched to me. Really, it's expensive. Especially if your taste is expensive. I like, I like good things. I like, I like Brazilian. I like all those type of human hair. You know the different types and all. It's really beautiful when you look at it. But the good one is quite expensive. And if your work or your business has a lot to do with your work, with your look, of course you invest in that. You buy it. But if not, why? Why should I spend so much money to buy a wig on a wig? 50,000 to 200,000 to 50,000 just to buy a wig that I'm going to wear for a while. There is no way that you will carry such wig, a wig as expensive as that, without you paying an extra attention to it, which will then make you to neglect your own hair. It is not advisable. I have a lot of things I need to do. I have a lot of things I need to do for my children. I have a lot of things I need to do for myself, and things are just too expensive now for me to be squandering, squandering my money, spending my money on such thing. So, at the end of the day, I was tired of it all. I was, I was exhausted. I was exhausted. Most of the time, I find myself having to braid my hair to mat it down. I learned how to make my hair myself at a point. I was always touching it because probably it's not looking it, it's looking untidy. It's frustrating. Then finally, finally I remembered dreadlock. Like way back in 2004, I did try to install it. The guy that did it for me used sponge method. Sponge method and he used one kind of black gel for me and I was instructed not to wash my hair for some time but I didn't listen. I washed my hair three days after and I was relieved. Since then I didn't get to know any other style what to do with it again. I just I just kind of discarded the thought after a while. Then I started noticing people that were born with dreadlocks popularly known as Dada in Nigeria, in the western part of Nigeria, where I come from. Where, and I was, I started thinking of what exactly is wrong with this hairstyle? Why is there so much misconception on this hairstyle? Then I switched to my research mode. I have seen some people with natural dreadlocks. They were born with it. A young boy with dreadlock of uniform sizes thin more like micro locks then i saw some that were not uniform in size matted some flat and i was like oh there are different types of this i went online then i came across these four people beautiful people that made their locks themselves with fine dreadlocks that made me to make up my mind Finally, I locked the hair. So there you have it. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more unlocks and click on the notification bell to get notified when I upload more videos. So guys, 
thank you for tuning in bye bye see you in my next video